Francis in the Wolf is a, um, it's based on lots of drawings that I did of Francis, but I didn't want Francis just to be benign and just uh, a character that loved animals. I wanted to show how it really is about nature and, and an idea of how we look at our environment today. But this particular story arose out of the legend that there was a, a village that was uh, menaced by a wolf, a ravenous wolf that was eating the cattle and sheep and they were afraid it would attack people. So they were ready to kill the wolf. And uh, Francis was leaving the town and they said, don't go out because the wolf is there and he may kill you. Well, we're going to kill the wolf first. And so, but Francis said, don't, don't hurt the wolf. Let me go talk to the wolf. So Francis went to talk to him, even though it was so dangerous and fearful. Uh, but the story has such uh, overlays of interesting ideas of, um, the shadow, the things that we are afraid of the most, he went to that uh, wolf, to talk to the wolf, to befriend the wolf. And I see in our own lives that sometimes we have many things that we're afraid of that we don't want to confront. And eventually uh, it can be destructive, so that the idea of dealing with the shadow is very important. And in this work, I try to show all of nature watching him as he talks to the wolf. The original drawing of Francis and the wolf was a, a crayon painting which I scribed into the crayon. And uh, this, so that became my original drawing. My, my first drawing was based on that uh, uh, crayon painting. It was called Scraffito. Then I decided I wanted a border. I wanted to put like a series of pictures. So I put scenes from his life and they're across the bottom and the top, the scenes from his life. So I redrew them. And then on the sides I put, it was narrower, so I put arch shapes that go with the canticle that he wrote, the canticle of the sun. So with those drawings and then the master drawing in the middle, I, I was dropping in my colors and adding. So I had a map to work with. And then each time I'd print a color, I would work to uh, put the color into those areas. And sometimes I'd have to print it in two sections in order to keep the alignment. But you can see how I, I, I added as much um, embellishment and drawing into it, like whether it was the hairs of the wolf, whether it was the bark of the tree, or whether it was the stones of the city, uh, or shading, I, I used the color. And this was a transparent color. This shows what it looked like after 17 printings. And I, you can see how it's already changing from, from this one. Many, much of the outline has been uh, covered. I've used it and, I, and now I'm covering it and just embellishing on top of it so that it becomes a more part, uh, becomes integrated and you don't need it anymore because it's already been worked with. But you can see how these little shapes are being developed. So the finished work has 48 colors. What I try to do is create like a beautiful, like a Persian miniature or like a medieval manuscript, illuminated manuscript. I wanted it to have the quality that you could look at it and that you could uh, see it like visually rich and resolved. I didn't want it to be off registration. So we, that was the big work. And you can see how all these areas are intricate and layered with many colors. They're color over color over color. Each of these little scenes, like right on the top here, I have the, uh, we thank you God for Brother Wind. And then the, in the poem that uh, Francis wrote, he said, we thank you for the way it changes the, the weather and it refreshes our environment. And here's a sister moon and sister stars. Uh, so I try to bring elements of his contributions and gifts to us and his example with his life. Like I have here, Feeding the Hungry, uh, showing idea of service or welcoming the homeless. 
and I, I wanted it to be also, like I mentioned before, here he is facing this ferocious wolf, but yet not afraid. If he was afraid, he overcame the fears. And I have all kinds of animals and insects all around him. So it's like wherever you look, there's something to, to see and to delight in.